an orchestra rehearsal in Lviv, Ukraine. They're polishing a piece by the younger son of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Franz Xaver, who lived and worked in Lviv for 30 years, about two centuries ago. I think that we can do... Um, can, please don't play this regard. Ukrainian conductor Oksana Linyev rediscovered this nearly forgotten Mozart, and she initiated the Lviv Mozart Classical Music Festival, dedicated to her favorite composers, the elder and younger Mozarts. In the early 19th century, Lviv lay in the northeast corner of the Austro-Hungarian Empire under Habsburg rule. Today, it's Ukraine's seventh largest city, a vibrant community with a well-preserved old town. It's a favorite destination for tourists from around the world. Two, three, three. Two, the three, third three. day of rehearsal. <laughs> Beethoven's Triple Concerto, played by three soloists, along with musicians from two youth orchestras, Germany's Bundesjugend Orchester and the Academic Youth Symphony Orchestra, based in Lviv. It's a youthful orchestra in both senses of the term. It was founded only recently, in 2016, by Oksana Linif after a German model. I worked with the Bavarian Landesjugend Orchester for the first time in Germany in 2006. I was deeply impressed by how this is organized in Germany and the way young people cultivate this fine musical culture. I was fascinated by the atmosphere, the accomplishment and the results. Since then, it's been my dream to bring this experience to Ukraine. The young musicians only have four days to rehearse. They have to have the program ready to go for the festival's closing concert. Okay. Personally, I could do with some more rehearsal days. It's an unbelievably large program for such a short time. And we don't have it down that well yet. It's a wonderful young team and you can sense the youthful energy. That's important to me and worth a lot. The professionals and the young musicians worked and played well together from the very first day. Oksana Linif has big plans for the German-Ukrainian orchestra. Sure, we're excited. We haven't had nearly enough rehearsal time, but I think it'll work out fine. We've grown together quickly. It works wonderfully. The German orchestra has fantastic musicians, and we quickly found a common language. The German musicians help us a lot, and that's important. Oksana Linyev's full of energy. She's very active and productive. It's colossal how much she's accomplished in such a short time. We'll be performing with the German orchestra for the first time the day after tomorrow. That'll be our debut and the beginning of a journey for us. An outing to the Carpathian Mountains was planned, but the German musicians have barely had time to see the town. The rehearsals have top priority. It's gone a lot smoother than I thought it would. Instructions are given in Ukrainian and German and English, but everybody still finds where they have to come in. And if someone doesn't understand, a neighbor will help them out. The rehearsal was intense, but lots of fun. She knows what she wants and she has clear ideas. It's great with the others too. We've just met, but it's working out very well. Some of the Ukrainians don't speak English very well, but then others speak German. With the people I've had contact with so far, it's worked fine. We communicate one way or the other, and they're very open and obliging. It's fun to talk with them. Bogdan Seguin has been based in Lviv for over 20 years. He's a versatile composer and one of the foremost representatives of contemporary Ukrainian music. 
he's written chamber music and pieces for orchestra and chorus. One of his primary sources of inspiration is Le Vieux itself. The city has a rich musical heritage, which is carried on by street musicians from all over the world. There's a creative atmosphere in Le Vieux. It has many different musical influences and traditions. Lots of great musicians and a rich musical history. For his commission from DW, Bogdan Seguin has composed an ode to his city. At this point, he's still keeping it under wraps ahead of its premiere at the Beethoven Festival in Bonn, which will be performed by the two youth orchestras. My composition embodies my view of Le Vieux. It's a portrait of a very multifaceted city. And I made use of something very characteristic of it, the street musicians. A hundred years ago, for instance, when Le Vieux was part of Poland, Batyr music was very popular. That inspired me. Just like Beethoven's vocal works, I'm particularly fond of some of his songs for voice and piano. In Beethoven's day, they were as popular as radio hits today. The Le Vieux Mozart Festival is not limited to classical music. A concert is held on the city's historical market square. It's a musical encounter of two worlds. Even with all the pressure ahead of the closing concerts, Oksana Linev won't miss it. The conductors just had four days of intense rehearsals, but it hardly shows. She lives for her work. She's brought the two youth orchestras together for a demanding program. The festival closes with a rousing concert in the Le Vieux Opera House, one of Europe's most beautiful opera houses. It was thrilling. At moments like these, you're rewarded for all your work and lots more. That's the thing, the more you give, the more comes back. That's how so much energy came out. We were all supercharged up even before the concert. It felt like the very air was electrified. The concert's a huge success. Tomorrow, the orchestra will perform in the capital, Kiev, before leaving for Bonn to debut Bogdan Seguin's composition. Yes, I'm anxious about the premiere in Bonn. I feel like an actor with stage fright. Three weeks later in the former capital of West Germany. Bonn has been hosting the Beethoven Festival since 1845 to honor its greatest son. The event stages four weeks of non-stop music. Bogdan Seguin and Aksana Linev have been rehearsing the new piece for four days with the two youth orchestras and seven young accordion players. I was really nervous, but only in the first rehearsal. After that, I knew it would work out. I realized that Oksana had everything under control. It was working great, and the musicians had been steadily improving. I'm very satisfied with the result. 
The conductor also appears satisfied, and she's already making plans for the future. I'd like to conduct the piece in Lviv sometime, too. We ought to write a second part for it, maybe a tango. Then we'd have a little 20-minute cycle. The moment for the premiere has come. The accordion players take on the role of street musicians until gradually their notes merge with those of the orchestra. It's a very special evening for me, uh, for my uh, premiere, and also for Ukraine, for Ukraini uh, Ukrainian uh, music and culture. I am very happy.